All right, Miles, thank you very much. Well, former First Lady and current presidential front runner Hillary Clinton paid a visit to Charlottesville today. Wahoo Fox 27's Matt Holmes is outside the Paramount Theater where she spoke today. And Matt, I understand she got a standing ovation when she took to the stage there. Well, that's right, Phil, and she better have gotten that ovation as some folks shelled out more than two grand to come out and see the junior senator from New York in what was an intimate setting. Just she, best-selling author John Grisham, and more than a thousand of her biggest fans. Hillary Clinton wants your vote, and she's willing to talk about anything to get it. In a nearly two-hour Q&A session at the Paramount Theater, the Democratic presidential hopeful addressed foreign policy. It is important that we go after al-Qaeda in Iraq. Health care. Millions of children, and unfortunately, uh, those children are suffering and some are dying because they don't have access to insurance. Education. We need to open the doors to college and great institutions like UVA and others to as many students from as many diverse backgrounds as possible. She even spent a good portion of the afternoon discussing her favorite baseball teams. It was all part of an event organized by best-selling author John Grisham. Grisham sat on stage with Mrs. Clinton and basically held a lengthy yet informal conversation that was followed up by a series of questions from members of the audience. When all was said and done, some were impressed. She's absolutely brilliant. I agree with most, all of her positions. And I, I, I'm in that age where it's time to see a woman be president. While others took aim at her voting record. She voted originally to give George Bush the authorization to go to war. And then every time a bill came up, she voted to support it. So it, in essence, it's been continued when it needs to come to a stop. It's all par for the course when you're one of the most polarizing figures in American politics. But the politician who wants to be the first female president in U.S. history knows she's got more history fighting against her. Namely, Virginia's voted GOP in every presidential election since the 60s. We put together a positive agenda. Uh, that makes sense to people in Virginia, uh, it could be that Virginia would be competitive. Just spit on me. You might want to talk to him. Now, will this type of fundraiser help Hillary in Virginia? Well, it was a year ago tomorrow that Jim Webb sat down with John Grisham and Stephen King on that very stage. They raised $200,000 that day for the candidate who went on to beat his Republican opponent. Hillary Backers hoping for a similar boost. Reporting live in Charlottesville, Matt Holmes, Wahoo Fox 27 News. And Matt, she's been in the news a lot this week talking about her health care. Did she at any point have to defend any of that today? I know you touched on that there. Yeah, she absolutely did talk a lot about her health care plans. And she said that while in 1993 it wasn't really the right time, she hopes that now in 2007, 2008, next year's presidential election, that America's come ready to face the health care crisis. And one last question for you there. Those people up on the stage, were those some of the donors or were those uh, some special guests that she had with her today? That was actually a group of UVA students, some of her uh, campaign volunteers and uh, assorted Hillary backers. We're told that those uh, big-time donors had to settle for wine and cheese with the candidate. Hey, thank you very much. Matt Holmes reporting for us live tonight on the Downtown Mall. Thanks, Matt.